Hello, this is Reza from Radicad, and today I'm going to talk about how to use a waterfall chart to show uh, drill down over a uh, period over period uh, values in waterfall chart without writing any code, without any calculations, just using this visual. Let's see how it works. I have previously explained that you can use waterfall chart for scenarios that you have a sequence like date, month, uh, workflow steps, things like that, and show the values that are changing. I've explained uh, an example of you can analyze the cash flow data using a waterfall chart. Uh, but in this post, I'm going to, in this video, I'm going to talk about how you can do that uh, with a breakdown. Uh, I have a data model here, uh, which uh, the tables that I'm using, these are AdventureWorks uh, um, data source tables. You can download it from the link down in the description below. Uh, I have two tables, customer table, uh, fact internet sales table. They are connected through customer key. Uh, now I'm going to show you how the waterfall chart works with these two. So I can add a waterfall chart here using the uh, order date, which is the date field in fact internet sales, uh, by sales, which is a measure which is basically some of the sales amount. I could even bring the sales amount itself. Uh, so I show sales amount as the y axis, the order date as a category, and here you can see the sales of every year, uh, how much sales I've got at every year, and what is the total sales altogether, right? Uh, this is a basic. Um, let's say um, waterfall chart which shows you uh, the values uh, in each period. Now let's say you want to analyze this breakdown by uh, education. Education is a field in the um, customer table. If I search for education If I search for a field like education and bring English education into the breakdown, then you see that this shows me the breakdown of each section. Let me enable zooming and here you can see. So uh, this shows uh, uh, the two periods. Between the two periods, it shows me the breakdown of the sales values for each of the education categories. And this happens between every two periods. It shows me, it shows me the breakdown. Uh, now, this is show, uh, showing more than a breakdown. Let's see uh, what more it shows. It shows you that, uh, like for example, when you hover on a value, it shows you actually uh, this period sales, the value of this period, comparing it with the value of the next period. So this is 2005 sales, comparing it with the 2006 sales, the change, the variance, and the percentage of that change. All of that using this visual, uh, we haven't wrote any calculation, any quick measure, anything like that. If you wanted to get this information, you actually needed to write some calculations like that uh, to use it in other charts. But here it gives you that information all simply just like that. And this happens like everywhere uh, you see it, right? Very simple, very uh, useful, however. Uh, now, this shows you every period compared to the period after that, like for example in 2008, because the last year of sales in this sample data set is 2008, so after 2008 I don't really have anything, but in 2007 itself these are values compared to the 2008, right? Uh, there is another thing about this uh, breakdown as well, and that is the sorting. You see the sorting of these are different in each uh, period. And the sorting is not based on their sales amount. It is actually based on the change, the variance of the value. So here, if I hover on these, you see that, for example, the first value, the change is 957,000. This is 844,000. Then this one uh, is the important one. You see the actual sales is $542,000. But the sales change is $707,000. Comparing it with the other education category, which sales is actually more than the previous one, 586,000, 
But because the change is 551,000, which is less than this, that comes second in the sorting. So sorting shows usually the one that is that has more change first. That is how the uh, sorting for, work for this chart. There is another interesting thing for this chart as well. The breakdown usually has a configuration in the format. When you go, you'll see a breakdown. Uh, it shows by default maximum five breakdowns. If you have more than that, it shows you a section called other. If you want to uh, make it more, you can add more to this. In this case, I just have five, but I just make it a little bit smaller so you can see how it works. So if I have only two breakdowns, it shows me the two biggest change and the rest comes as other, right? Um, so you can change it like that. Uh, that's the breakdown configuration here. And one last thing that uh, I want to point out here is that uh, this chart, like many other charts, has the ability to use drill down and drill up option, especially if you use a hierarchy. Here I have a date field, which by default date is a hierarchy. And it shows me uh, these values by the year. But if I enable this drill mode on, then I can click on one of these years and see this uh, changes in the quarters of that year. These are all quarters of 2006 now, comparing values over quarters. If I click on one quarter, I'll see month in that quarter. You can even click on a, a month and you'll see days and comparison of these in days in that quarter. So. All of that with just waterfall chart, very powerful, very useful chart, especially if you are analyzing data over a sequence, which is usually date and time. Uh, if you like this video, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have weekly videos of Power BI and AI.